Hey everybody, I am sitting in here in a nice warm Kodiak Lodge 12 by 12 tent and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. It is my new favorite Kodiak tent. It's really cool. Um, I did a demo and there's a link at the bottom if you want to see how to set it up. But I, I did a setup intentionally by myself to just to make sure that I could do it by myself because I know a lot of you go up hunting and, and camping and on outings alone and you need to be able to set it up. So I show you how to do that. It's it's not bad at all. Um, I'd say it probably took me about 20-30 minutes to put it up. That's just the first time though. I think each time after that it's probably, I don't know, more like 15 minutes. It's pretty easy. There's only one ridge pole that goes the the top of the tent and then everything else are just supporting poles all around that you that you stake down. Um, I got a stove here next to me. I'm going to show you that in a second. And uh, I'm going to show you the features of it, but I just have to tell you outside. Let me look on my phone and tell me and tell you what the temperature is outside. Outside it is, I don't know if that will show up. Oh, there you, you can kind of see it. 31 degrees. It's 31 degrees outside and it is supposed to snow tonight and all through the night until 10 a.m. tomorrow. So I chose a good time to demo this for you. I'm going to keep the fire hot and I'm going to I'm going to show you how well it holds up the snow. I've never been in one of these in a winter storm or anything. But there's some pretty cool features. Um, they're I really think you're gonna like this tent. I, this is something Kodiak's never done. They've never had a tent with a stove jack um, or something that's for extreme weather. There's a bar right here and I'll show you that in a second too that helps for extreme weather we'll, that will help for the snow pack. Hopefully though the tent will stay warm enough that the tent, that the snow will, will just kind of start to melt off it. I may have to push it off if, if it gets too heavy. But uh, so let me let me show you what I've done <clears throat> and I'll show you the features first we have uh, so the tent has a stove jack and this material right here is uh, fireproof it's designed for stoves to keep things safe and here's the stove it's a Colorado cylinder brand and it's got a fire in there now as you can see and uh, yeah, Colorado brand. I've got I've got the flue coming out of the top. I'll show you from the outside just how high that goes. I've got the the uh, heat mat for the stove. Um, you know, in case any embers pop out, as you can see, they have, and they're on the floor. I don't want them melting the vinyl. And this is a co the vinyl floor. This is a Kodiak brand stove mat too. It doesn't have any logos or any any writing or anything at all on it. But the nice thing about stove camping is that you you control the uh, you control the the uh, fire with this vent here, and then the damper on the flue. Let me show you some of these features. Let me try and show you how roomy it can be get my tripod out of the way <clears throat> so I've got a huge four foot wide cot right here that's bigger than the average cot this is even an XL cot which is bigger than the average cot and you can see that I can easily fit two and and more room here more room here and more room here let me go from the other side to show you So you can see all the area, all the dead space that we still have. So I've got room for more gear. Um, here's a different shot. This is a Kodiak sleeping bag, by the way. You ought to check these out. They're really cool. They've got this sleeve that you put your head through and then your arms stay under here and you can turn over, move around and you don't get any, any heat loss. You, of course you wear a beanie. And then this is the Kodiak quilt. The booster quilt right there since it's going to be warm in here i didn't need another sleeping bag but i just wanted to demo this for you so let me show you some of the features that's this is a support bar this t t bar right here 
This is optional, you don't have to put this up. It comes with it, whether you want it to or not. But if you're expecting um, some, some bad winds or some snow, rain, you know, just bad weather, then you'll want to, uh, you'll want to put this up. And it just telescopes. You can see it's got a foot down here. It's got a foot down here, so it has a lot of surface area, so it doesn't damage your floor or puncture it. And then this is where it telescopes. You just use a thumb screw. So I could take that off if I'm expecting really good weather, which I'm not. Um, but if it was just a normal camping activity with my family, and maybe I wasn't even bringing the stove, then obviously I'd have a ton more room. Uh, this is 12 by 12. You can see that there's windows here. And this is a storm window. And I'll, I'll show you that from the other side. Uh, regular window. This is the back side of the tent. We got, we've got a window here and a window there. So there's tons of ventilation, you guys. This is a window here as well. And there's another window. And there's another window. So lots of windows. This here is the, the D-shaped door. They call them D-shaped doors because it's kind of shaped like the letter D. There's this sewn in pockets. I'd tell you exactly what the temperature is inside right now. It's so nice, but uh, my daughter broke that thermometer that's in there that I was planning on using, so I'm gonna have to get another one for you. But underneath all the windows, yeah, there's one there too. See, underneath all the windows, you've got all these pocket organizers. No need to have any of the, the hanging bag or pocket organizers in this one. You see, there's another one there. You can shove your cell phones and iPads or maps or whatever. One of the things that the, the Kodiak canvas tent comes with, and this is just provided, not by the, the stove company, but by Kodiak, is a little uh, mesh bag. And it says that this clip-on storage bag is for battery-operated combo carbon monoxide uh, smoke detectors. So place it in the bag and clip it to the tie loop located on the top center of the ceiling. So I think that means, uh, yeah, I guess you could put it here, but there's a loop there and uh, another one right there. So we highly recommend to please be safe. Make sure you follow all the manufacturer's recommendations. Um, the stove company, as well as Kodiak, they have lots of warnings that you need to be aware of when you, when you use their products. So super nice though, uh, really impressed with this. Let me show you the outside. Oh, I forgot to show you these airflow vents. And it allows for airflow um, even with the, there's flaps on the outside, I'll show you in a second. But uh, even if it's raining, the wind's blowing, it still allows you to get airflow. And there's one on both sides and they face opposite directions. The flaps on the outside face off opposite directions to maximize the, yeah, I can see I can feel the wind coming through. Of course, it's warm in here, so that's probably the heat coming and escaping from the tent. So here's the outside. I mean, here's the inside from the outside so I can kind of get a better angle and show you the inside of the tent. And by the way, all these wrinkles are gonna go away. They'll go away just after a day or so, especially if it's gonna rain or snow. So here's the exterior. You see the smoke coming out of the top, maybe? Yeah, you can see it. Um, you can see it's really reinforced with guy ropes everywhere. It's, it's a nice extreme weather type tent. And you can see there's just windows everywhere too. So this is a storm type window where even if it's raining or snowing or whatever, I can open this from the inside and still get some nice ventilation. So if you don't use the stove jack, you know, you pop this out, take the stove out, and then this closes and zips and it's watertight. So if you get any type of rain, uh, you're gonna stay nice and dry inside it. So here's the back side. You can see that there's only one ridge pole that goes all the way across. Let me show you from this other angle. So there's this ridge pole and this goes all the way across, okay? and then down the other side. That's the only pole that actually goes through anything with the tent. Everything else, they're all uh, spike poles that you tie down with guy ropes, which are very easy and they just stake to the ground, as you can see. So, <clears throat> it's 
it's got these extra these windows here so no matter what way the wind's blowing if you need to get some ventilation you can pretty easily um let me tell you about this this uh on on you, you see these velcro strips right here these are velcro strips right there and right there those are heavy duty. well they're not velcro brand but they're heavy duty like velcro they're they're similar to velcro i should say but uh, there is an awning that attaches to this. It gives you another eight by eight feet. And I will show that to you in a different video. Uh, when I have it, I will post it below um, a link so you can see exactly what it looks like. I did want to give this a shot with some, some pretty bad weather before I try it with the awning. Um, I suspect though, with the amount of heat in here, that when I have this awning up, I can open this door and this window and the heat will dissipate into the the awning as well so we'll see huh? check below and see if there's a video it probably won't be for several weeks from the time this is posted but the velcro is part of what attaches it'll attach with the velcro it'll attach onto these um poles as well and then it'll, it'll come clear out to about right here and um it's really cool too and the nice thing about it is it's canvas those of you who are looking at the cabin tent with the deluxe awning that awning has a canvas roof but not canvas walls this is a canvas everything's canvas the walls and the roof will all be canvas i um, mean it will have windows too um and the other nice thing about it is um it detaches on the the cabin tent this model 6133 you have to there's two two models there's 6121 where there's no awning option and then there's 6133 where you can where it has the awning attached you cannot detach it you can roll it up and 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 uh kind of attach it onto the wall this one though you can see it actually uses uh zippers see the zipper right here it attaches via zipper up uh on the roof and then this these heavy duty strips right there so this is the kodiak lodge tent i'm going to try and leave this up this is my backyard i'm going to try and leave this up all winter it's, it's still fall winter hasn't started but all uh we get pretty pretty cold uh winters here you can see all the mountains around um we get a lot of snow too so I'm excited to, to show you how well this will hold up. The wind's really starting to blow now too, so it's gonna be really a really cold night. In fact, I think it's supposed to get down to like zero degrees or something like that. Uh, 18 degrees tonight, two, two degrees tomorrow. So we'll see. Um, but my intention is to keep you updated uh, on how well this works throughout the, the winter season, because I know a lot of you intend on getting this to do some extended camping for weeks and some of you for even months so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video again my name is charlie with competitiveedgeproducts.com visit our website uh, if you found this video helpful please hit the like button subscribe if you feel inclined uh, and thanks for watching